Hey guys, we're back, we're back. Uh, it is Monday, it's the first day of the month, and uh, just want to share some of my uh, observations of the book by Esther Hicks, uh, Ask and It Is Given. And over the weekend I was reading a couple of chapters, and this has so much to take away, so I'm just going to give you what I actually remember, um, some of the things that I, I felt that were important. Again, everybody has their own takeaways. Uh, I suggest, or I recommend you read, read this book. Um, if not, this is why I'm sharing with you guys, so you guys can take away something that might uh, resonate with you guys, um, and certain things that resonate with me, right? So, uh, so far, it's, I've learned in this couple of chapters is that uh, whatever it is that you desire, whatever it is that you um, have this feeling for, um, nobody else has it. Um, whether you guys are on the same boat, on the same path, it's still different for every single person. Yes, it is great to have a team and a group and and, and like-minded people around you, but we all, at the end of the day, we all have our own uh, desires and things that each of us, you know, really want to um, manifest, right? And this is the reason why, because of that, this is a reason why it's tough when, especially those closest to us, our loved ones, family, friends, parents, uh, siblings, um, don't understand what you're actually trying to to seek, right? And are very easily, um, you know, with the best intentions, are uh, very easily, uh, you know, can very easily kind of convince you that whatever it is that you're seeking is not possible, or it's not for you, or it's not who you are. And the only person that can know who you are is yourself. Um, and we constantly hear this, um, including myself, in, in a lot of uh, podcasts that we, I listen to and, and videos that I watch. You know, we are constantly asking for permission for for to do things, right? And, and oh, what do you think if I should do this? Um, if you want to buy something, you ask, hey, does, does this look good on me? Or does should I get this certain object or this? You know, um, that that we kind of use that also sorry for the, for the girl that we also use that also in life for decisions that we want to make or certain actions we want to take so um if i haven't said it before but from this book she's saying that only you know what's what what it is that you are seeking what it is that you want um and you know listening to yourself um is the first and foremost um, and but the hardest thing to do, right? Um, but all the outside noise, all the outside, um, especially now this technology is so much out there for us to learn and pick up, and, and which is right and which is wrong. Um, and um, you know, me personally, I think I heard Gary Vee talking about this the other day. He was saying that he believes in hustle; he doesn't believe in rest. But he's also saying that there's so much advice out there. Uh, but you know, basically whatever works for you and whatever works for you and, and when she says a lot in these chapters is also the emotions that that you're feeling pay attention to your emotions if you're doing something and you're not feeling good about it then obviously it's not for you regardless of what anybody else is telling you um and if you feel good uh doing it then obviously it's for you does you know keep on um pursuing whatever it is that you makes you feel good and uh something that we lose in the whole um i guess concept as we get older we lose what we actually you know what makes us feel good we um kind of go with the practical as opposed to what it is that that's actually your being and your um you know best part of yourself so in that <laughs> in that long this, the definition of that one the next one she turns into was that in every thought you know everything's a thought in this world everything that we see is from a thought you know steve jobs the late great said it you know the the everything starts with a thought right um and he was saying that, well, she was saying in the book that everything, you know, it only takes 17 seconds to focus on something. And right away, the law of attraction, the universe starts working for you. And if you keep on holding that, you start holding that thought until up to about, you know, you focus up to about 68 seconds, which she, she, she specific, excuse me, specifically states that 68 seconds is like the time limit where once you hold that thought for that amount of time, you start... It's hard to take it, take your mind off of it now because it's already been ingrained in you. You're focused on it, and you're gonna try to find ways to make it happen or manifest it, right? Um, so, uh, if, I guess if anything that we want and anything we're trying to accomplish, 
you know, focus at least 68 seconds of it, of your of your conscious thought on it. Oh, my hair is crazy. Today. But um, that will give you that 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 law of attraction that's working towards you, um, and it's working for you, not towards you, for you, and. And and every day, little by little, this that focus gets bigger and bigger, and that thought gets more specific, more specific, more clearer. And I and she states that things start to happen around you, the universe starts helping you, and synchronistic things starts to happen, and everything starts working your way. But it all starts with that thought, with that focus. Um, and as she says, the most important 68 seconds of your life is when you start focusing on thoughts that you actually want to happen, and little by little, it starts to manifest. So recap of that is, you know, stay for my next chapter, my chapter, my next episode, because I've, I've, she started now the processes of, or the processes, whatever, however you want to pronounce it, uh, on how to exactly be able to, to start manifesting and to start feeling this, this feelings of good feelings where it is all, where it all begins, where your emotions and your thoughts, right? So, um, let me know what you guys think about this chapter or this review, um, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Take care.